Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mike. I'm the founder and CEO of Sweet Dash. Welcome to Academy Sessions. These sessions are designed to help you by learning directly from experts in our community who have hands-on experience with Sweet Dash. What makes these sessions special is that they are hosted by Sweet Dash experts from our community. We've given these experts free reign to develop these presentations based on their actual experiences helping Sweet Dash customers just like you. And this allows for a truly authentic and practical learning experience. Each expert brings their own presentation style and perspective, and that's what makes Academy Sessions so valuable. We've entrusted the host to shape the content in a way that best addresses the common questions and challenges our customers face every day. And this approach ensures that the information is not only practical, but also deeply connected to real world use cases. Be sure to subscribe to Sweet Dash on YouTube and follow us on all other social media channels to stay up to date on new features, announcements, and promotions. Okay, that's my intro. Let's get on with the session. Today we're going to learn what email cannons are, two key advantages of email cannons, as well as three advanced use cases for email cannons. Email cannons are highly effective pre-configured emails that can be sent to a single recipient or group of recipients either manually or via automation. These emails are not just standard notifications. They are richly formatted messages similar to what you would create in an email campaign or drip sequence offering dynamic data placeholders for personalization, images, and more, helping you to make every email feel unique and engaging. The first key advantage of email cannons are personalized and engaging communication. Email cannons allow you to send richly formatted, personalized email to a single recipient or group of recipients, either via automation or manually. This creates a more intimate and engaging experience for your audience and your clients, making them feel valued and connected to your brand. The second key advantage of email cannons is automated and efficient workflows. Email cannons, as mentioned before, can be triggered automatically through forms and other means of firing no-code automations, which saves you time while ensuring timely, relevant communication without the manual effort. This has the potential to streamline your workflows and keeps your clients and prospect engaged at key moments in their client journey. To get started using email cannons, if you don't already have the Plus Bundle Power Up, you're going to want to go into your account settings and enable that option. So we're going to head over right here to our account settings and manage account. Then what we're going to do is we're going to head right over here to where it says Power Ups and click on that. Then what we'll do is we will scroll all the way down until we get to the plus bundle power up. And we see here the email cannons functionality that will be enabled once we have the plus bundle power up activated. Of course, it comes with additional features, form cannons, enforcing secure passwords, an additional terabyte of file storage and also PCI compliant credit card vaulting, as well as coming soon, enforcing two-factor authentication, which is wonderful. So all we'll need to do, if we already have an applicable card or payment method on file, we'll go over to this more info button, click on it, and we'll simply click this add power up button that we see here and the plus bundle power up for us will be active. So with our plus bundle power up activated, we're going to head over to our automations menu and we can add a new email cannon by selecting the plus icon next to email cannons 
or we can click on the Email Canon submenu item. We can also add an Email Canon by clicking this Add Email Canon button, or like me here, if you already have some Email Canons prepared and you really like all of the different formatting that you've done with a particular Email Canon, you can head over to the Options menu, duplicate the Email Canon, and make your edits there and save those changes. You can also preview the Email Canon as well. You can see the files that you've attached, if any, to the Email Canon. You can delete the Email Canon entirely, or you can, of course, edit the Email Canon too. For our purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and edit an Email Canon that I've already created for this list of service solutions here. Now, if you wanted to edit the subject and or the name of the Email Canon, you would do that right in this interface. All you would do, like I just did, is click this settings gear icon, and that is where you're going to be able to make those changes. You can, of course, remove additional padding and also suppress the email wrapper by toggling the advanced options here. Let's just go ahead, save it, even though there were no changes made. And as we can see here, we have the ability to do a variety of things. We can add images, we can add links, we can add placeholders, and all of these different formatting options to make our email canons that much more beautiful. Assuming that we have everything in place, we can go ahead and click this Save and Send option. And it will show us a preview of what our email canon is going to look like when viewed by a target. If we wanted to see what it's going to look like to a target in real time when we send this email, we also have the option here of entering an email address and sending this as a test email. Now, as we notice here, placeholders do not populate in test emails. So what you will see is exactly how everything is formatted here. This client first name is not going to appear as the name of a particular client in the test emails. Now, let's assume for a second that you are looking over your email canon before you save this email canon, and you say, wait a minute, there's something in here that needs to be changed. You don't have to go all the way back through the process. You can simply click this Edit Email Canon button up here, and it will take you back to where you would go and make your changes as you need to. With that, we're going to go ahead and we are going to save this email cannon because I like everything that's going on here. The email cannon has been saved and it's been activated. Now, I'm sure you've noticed that I have different labels for these email cannons. And the reason why I do that is so that I know exactly what these email cannons are for and then I can attach them to different actions, and so forth that I want to take in Sweet Dash, whether it's via automation or whether it's a manual situation. As an example, this LMS lesson completed is going to fire when a lesson in my LMS course is complete. So let's go quickly over to the LMS course and attach the automation that's going to fire this email cannon when the lesson is complete. So I will move over to this LMS menu here, click on it, and then go to my courses. We have our Sweet Dash Accelerator course. I'm just going to click into that. And then to assign an automation to fire that LMS lesson completed email cannon that we saw earlier, we're going to go ahead 
and click on the three dot menu next to the lesson that we want to assign the automation to. We'll click on automations and we can trigger an automation when a lesson is completed by a contact or trigger automations when a lesson is completed by a staff member. For our purposes, we're just going to trigger an automation when a lesson is completed by a contact. Click on configure automations, click the plus button to add our automations, then we'll just say cannons and fire email cannons here. We'll then go ahead and select the email cannon that we want, which in our case is going to be the LMS lesson completed email cannon. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now, when this lesson here, this introduction lesson is marked as completed by the contact, the lesson completed email cannon is going to fire and send them a nice congratulatory message. Hey, congratulations on completing this lesson. Be sure to log back in and complete the next lesson, so forth. Wherefore art thou? And we'll go ahead and just exit out of that. And that is just one creative way to use email cannons via automation. Another automation opportunity with email cannons would be, let's say, at the end of an onboarding process. So let's go over to our onboarding and click on flows and choose whichever one is your onboarding process that you want to attach the email cannon to. I'll just use this onboarding new client flow here and we already see that once this flow is completed by a CRM target they're going to be added to the circle and an email cannon will be fired at them. We see here the onboarding confirmation email cannon that we had seen earlier on in the process that way they know the next steps in the process they know all of those wonderful things that they need to do next. Now, let's say that you don't want an email cannon to fire via automation. Let's assume that somebody reaches out to your organization requesting some more information about the services that you and your company provide to your clients. We can go ahead here and let's assume that they already filled out, say, a kickoff form or a booking form requesting some more information. Maybe you already even had a meeting with them and they said, hey, that all sounds great. Send me a little bit more detail about whatever it is that we talked about, etc." And you'll go ahead and go into the options menu next to the company or contact that you want to send the email can into. And I'll just go ahead and click on that. And we can see here that we have under automations the ability to fire an email cannon. And we'll go ahead, click on that. And in this case here, we'll select the list of service solutions email cannon and just select fire. And there we go. The email cannon has been fired. They've received the email that we have with all of our beautiful pre-formatting that we've done and we'll be able to then make a decision to move to whatever step is next in the process. I very much hope that you've enjoyed this brief walkthrough of email cannons. Be sure to thumbs up the video if you did and comment down below how we can improve these videos moving forward because ultimately we are here to serve and support you and look forward to doing so well into the future.